Good lunch time. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back. I should have started the vlog earlier because, whoa, I had to bring Eve to the vet to get her uh, some tests done. And so we will learn about those after Thanksgiving, but she did great. It is lunchtime and we are driving out to Christina and Grant's on my lunch break. Um, because we have to start briming, briming, brining a turkey. Because tomorrow is Thanksgiving. And I'm grateful for you. All the time. Are you ignoring me? More? sneak peek to what concert we're going to be going to later this holiday season. Oh my gosh, comment below if you could tell who it was. Jamesy is already napping and off we go. Way too long of a drive later. We have finally arrived at Christina and Grant's and picked up Pop Belly. Is somebody sleeping still? Here we have the bird for tomorrow. We're gonna get brining all set. We got some apple cider, we got some orange juice, some good stuff. We're gonna get this bird soaking. Just a couple of cousins eating an orange on the island. Ooh. Yeah? Yeah. It's yours. Right, here's our bird. Its name is Frederick. We're going to mix it up first and we're going to get some more water in there. Well, I'm going to massage it up in the, in the brining bag and then we're going to make sure we like the amount of moisture in there before we wrap it up. Okay, getting ready for tomorrow. It continues. We did most of our grocery shopping over the weekend. Um, maybe I'll share tonight everything that we plan on making. Um, but there were a few things that we didn't get. We like to do this concoction of eggnog and chocolate milk together, which like is kind of more of a Christmas thing. But I mean, Thanksgiving is a part of the Christmas season. That is how. That's how we roll. So. We were able to get the eggnog at Mariano's where we went grocery shopping over the weekend, but I did not see the chocolate milk, so I'm gonna to go to actual Overwise to get it. And then I'm still on the hunt for butter in the shape of turkey. I had a lot of people actually like post on Facebook last night on my personal page to be like, has anybody seen it in this area? And a lot of people said a jewel, and a jewel in particular nearby, so I'm going to brave. A grocery store um, but honestly just one thing I'll self check out it'll be fine fun fact this is well now it's the middle school this is the junior high that me and Peter met we had a ton of classes together we weren't we weren't truly truly friends until high school but we met in seventh grade stop one is complete now off to find that turkey. Alrighty, it is 3.06. Let's see what time it is when I get out. Also, it's 52 degrees out. It's so, so nice. It's not gonna stick around for tomorrow, but today I'll take it. No butter. It's 3.21. I did, I looked at the butter section, did a loop around to see if there was any like novelty items, and then I asked somebody. They were kind of like, that's been gone for three weeks. Which I don't know, it's totally true. But um, I think, so I know for sure there's there's 23 in stock at a local GFS, which is like a Gordon Food Services. Not sure if you know what that is. Um, so it's kind of on our way home, so, and it's open till nine. So maybe I'll just press my luck. Last night there were 25 left, but I don't know, I feel like a lot of people are gonna be shopping right now. 
it's like not so far, but not really close either. I'll ask Peter, because <laughs> he's at he's back at Christina's with the baby. Obviously, Christina Grant and the kids are there too. But we'll see. Okay, before I totally concede, I'm trying one more jewel. So many of my high school friends worked here, and I have not been here in a very long time. Okay, so <laughs> no butter. And one of the the workers was like so confident that they had it in this one. They're like, wait, I know exactly where they are. And then they brought me there and then they asked somebody in that area and they're like, no way. But I did find another two liter of Canada dry cranberry, which is great because this is this will be for Christina's house. We Peter got me the one last night, so that'll just I'll stay that'll stay there. This can go to Christina's. And then I got these like graham cracker bites for a dip. Oh, my phone's ringing, hold on. It was Eve's vet. No results yet, but they were just calling to check in and make sure she was doing good after her urinalysis procedure this morning. Um, so I got those graham crackers for a dip. We do like a cranberry cheese ball that's like sweet and you dip it with um, graham crackers. And I was only able to find like a big graham cracker where we're gonna have to break them down. My mom would typically have like graham cracker sticks. And so these are smaller and better for the dip. So that was a win too. Um, but we're just gonna have to stop um, at GFS on the way, on the way home. But I thought I might as well give it a shot. Everyone in my on my Facebook post was very confident in Jewel. Um, but that's, that's that, I guess, when you're shopping the week of Thanksgiving. Sarah's putting James on for a nap. Christina and Grant are getting the kids ready to go to the park. I just put on Little Women and I'm gonna relax because I am on Thanksgiving break until Monday. But I do have to run some errands, so I'm just gonna watch a little bit of this before I go run those now that Sarah's back from the stores. We got dinner cooking over here, but this is the real party time. Oberwise, chocolate milk, okay, the counter. eggnog, 50-50 mixture, holiday classic. Wait, I have another holiday classic over here. Wait, look at who's chilling over here. Look at who's chilling over here. She's 16 years old, she wants her license, she's sick of her parents, and she just wants to go to the mall. By the time you're 16, there won't even be malls, though. Oh, okay. Let me show the true lounger. This is the true lounger. Sarah's making another Thanksgiving concoction. Yes, Sarah's favorite word is concoction. It really is. <laughs> you should make a vlog of it just Sarah saying concoction, concoction. Should I really say it? You do. Yes. You do a lot, yeah. It's one of your favorite words. What is this concoction? Orange juice. Apple juice and cranberry juice. This is uh, this weird thing called apple juice, but it's actually salted caramel apple Shh. cider. <laughs> he, just, he just grabbed my pony. You got Mufasa? We're eating ice cream over here. Luca, Slinky Dog. Oh, Slinky Dog. Oh, you did it. You got two on there. Good job. Oh. Are you guys ready for a bombshell? <laughs> what is... Wait, wait, come here, come here. No, you need to tell them. What's the secret? <laughs> okay, the bombshell is... I'm not the only one that's pregnant here. <laughs> Cut. 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 Pregnant. She's due three days after me. <laughs> are you are you a big brother or something? Yeah. Does mommy have a turkey in her belly? No. You have you have a chicken in your belly. Really? Do I have a baby in my belly? Chicken. <laughs> Vivi, remember when you were the only baby? Do you miss those days? So it is true, Christina's also expecting a baby. What a year, what a time. Um, and so, yeah, we are due the same week. Lots of cousins, lots of kids. We're like all just 
crazy excited. Um, we did just leave their place. Peter's going in. Everybody say a prayer for turkey butter. Oh my gosh. You were in there a long time, I was getting worried. It's a Thanksgiving miracle. Let me pause Polar Express. I'm proud to say that I believe this is James's favorite Christmas movie. He'll like, he's like so into it when he watches it. Just put James down, he had a bath. Um, I'm actually gonna edit, I think we've kind of mentioned it. Um, I've been editing at night and it's worked out much better for me during the day, although I feel like I'm not as engaged on social media. But I think this is just like a moment. Um, kind of got into get into a new groove because everything automatically goes up. But then I'm not like ready, like sitting there like posting and all of that stuff. So like sometimes I forget to like share on Instagram that the vlog is live. Um, but anywho, that is how I've been managing like working and being a stay-at-home mom. So it does make for some later nights. Like it's after no it's not after 10 like typically i'll sit down like around 10 and that's before like anything's cleaned up there's a lot of laundry to be folded um so yeah that is what's been working for us peter typically runs while i do it and then he's kind like we've kind of been back into like me laundry him dishes so yeah we'll see how that goes as peter's like running schedule like kicks it up a notch um but yeah sometimes sometimes people ask for like our like how we make things work and maybe we'll do more of like a true day in the life vlog um between thanksgiving and christmas there's always kind of like a nice little calm time then so sarah and i get home and we're kind of dilly dallying trying to kind of game plan the rest of the night and i'm like you know what I think the gym was said, I think I said, saw someone about the gym having modified hours tonight because of Thanksgiving Eve. So I just called them like, hey, I'm supposed to do eight miles today. Hey, do you guys have modified hours? And the guy's like, yeah, we do. And I was like, okay, what are they? And he was like, yeah, we close at 10 tonight. Okay, thanks, bye. So now I'm booking it because it would have taken me, these treadmill runs, I try to like keep it at a fix like 10 miles an hour, maybe speed up a little bit. Um, it's 8.40 right now, so by the time I get to the gym and get ready, like, out of this stuff and on the treadmill going, it'll probably be, like, 8.50, 8.55, which means I also don't want to be, like, the guy who's getting off the treadmill at 10, so hopefully I'll get six miles in. Might be, depending on how I'm feeling, at mile three, I might increase it, the speed, and see if I can get in a seventh mile, but either way, I'm getting time and miles in the legs, so that's the most important part um especially because i'm doing a second orange theory class this week and i didn't plan on going to two classes a week until next month and we're gonna do dive right into two a week now so all right gotta go well i got my miles in but it's raining now what all right i got six of eight miles in i was hoping for a seventh but um I actually didn't run that well. I mean, which is like probably warranted. I'm getting back into running, plus the working out. Um, but I didn't bring my head sweatband and I didn't bring the right mask. So I thought I had a mask that I was like, oh, this is gonna be better than Zensa, but it actually was worse. And about, usually with the Zensa, I can get like 30 minutes in before it's like breathing through a wet rag. Um, but this one only gave me like 10 minutes before I was like, breathe. it was completely soaked through and I was struggling with, uh, just keeping my, my breathing regulated. It's not like it was hard to breathe, it was hard to regulate my pace of breathing, which is if you're an athlete or runner or aspiring, just know that that is key to keeping your heart rate um, maintained. And keeping your heart rate maintained is like one of the most crucial things when you're talking about long distance running because it, it you know, it'll, it'll make your body overwork anyway. I'm running the jewel to grab a few, few last minute things to bring to the Sakarj tomorrow for Thanksgiving. 
Um, so this should be a quick trip, and then I will be heading home. Okay, I thought I was just gonna go with some wine and not get any kind of bourbon or whiskey, but uh, I found this and it's distilled in Chicago. I looked it up. It's actually just like a mile west of, a little northwest of Wrigley. So you know what? I'm gonna get it. It's a holiday. I'm gonna see if Grant will try it with me. And if it's good, maybe we'll go out and I want we can see if they do, if the distillery has like tours or whatever. If tomorrow's Thanksgiving, you get my second gratefulness of this, of the holiday. I'm grateful for you every single day, even when you're naughty. Should I bring you back some turkey tomorrow? I'm gonna sign off of this vlog so I can export it and get it up. James Blunt came out with like a release new album. I'm oh pretty yeah? pumped. So, what all are we making for dinner? I don't know. Turkey. Turkey, cranberry, stuffing, mashed, mashed potatoes, potatoes. Salad. Salad. Rolls. Um, rolls. Two times two, two different kinds of rolls. That Gravy. Gravy. That's our, th we got a lot of breakfast, snicky snack, and, dips. and dessert, and dips. But like the we'll quantities of what we're making out of like the classic Thanksgiving stuff, the quantities are massive. So there'll be a lot of food. <laughs> and it's just it's just us and the cards tomorrow. Yeah, it's so four adults and three squibs. Jen and Billy will be stopping by at some point too. For like yeah. dinner. But for dinner, dinner it'll be four adults and three squibs. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>